people are suffering, people are dying, entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. Welcome to AI Flux. So today what I want to cover is something that I surfaced on Reddit, and this was also from yesterday, so which is a great day for a ton of things um, diffusion-based that do cool things with video. So there's no audio with how I'm recording this, so when I play here, uh, you're not going to hear the audio that I'm hearing. But um, yeah, so what this tool does uh, is it takes a video input with audio uh, with a singular face, and then uh, if you feed it another image, it will map that into a resultant video. So it's pretty cool. It's nearly perfect. Uh, the only thing I want to correct here um, from this title is uh, they mentioned stable diffusion plus thin plate spline motion, which is sort of the core innovation here, and flow frames. Um, the error here is that flow frames is actually just a, a Windows GUI tool to do AI things. Uh, Rife is actually the background uh, engine kind of working with this. So yeah, found that on Reddit. Um, Reddit is an okay source. I, I generally don't source a lot of this stuff. Um, my script follows a few specific people on Reddit, uh, but other than that, that's how I found this. So their GitHub is pretty scant, um, but they give more examples of what's going on. So they show the video input, uh, roughly what's being done to figure out who the subject is, and then the image being mapped to it, and then the result, which is in this row uh, second from the top. And what's cool is, is this is a, a deep fake esque model uh, that does not require an obscene amount of prior art or prior contents to train off of, and it combines video and audio in the same light. And the mouth movements you're seeing are not necessarily being directly interpolated. So that animation is happening with much, with very little fidelity um, input, and the output is pretty impressive. Although the creator of this has mentioned that, generally speaking, they're doing all this computation in uh, 256 by 256 pixel blocks and then upscaling. So important caveat there. However, the really cool thing with this, uh, and you'll see this in the Hugging Face demo, um, this has been proven to run on Windows with GPUs uh, that have less than six gigs of VRAM. So you might not be able to get the immediate fil like perfect fidelity, but what's awesome is this model doesn't require obscenely expensive GPUs by any means. Uh, yeah, and then the title of the paper is Thin Plate Spline Motion Model for Image Animation. So again, uh, that's kind of the, the core of what's going on here. They provide some insights as to how to run this with Conda on Windows. Um, I've installed it on Linux and it's pretty straightforward as well. And uh, yeah, so they have some key bits here. Um, again, cool to see a Hugging Face demo. Uh, I think Hugging Face doesn't get enough credit for pioneering interacting with a lot of these models. And uh, yeah, people should give them way more credit than they get. So yeah, it's all here. Um, there's gonna be a secondary video in the works. They just take longer going into the grit of what's going on here. Um, their full paper with full accreditation is on archive, which if you're looking for something more technical uh, is linked below. And I'm not gonna go through the, uh, the Hugging Face demo, but it does work and it works pretty well. So, yeah, another really cool model, um, different in that it, it works singularly on one subject. Um, and ideally the output is cropped uh, with a limited perspective. So it's meant to sort of look at someone's face or someone's head um, with limited distortion or perspective. Um, so coming at it from an angle, I did get this model to, to break a bit, but what it's able to you know, accomplish in very little time is Pretty incredible. Um, at the end here, I'm gonna have the original video from this Reddit post play, which is pretty cool. It's, it's Greta Thunberg mapped onto uh, a piece of artwork. 
But yeah, uh, if you guys have cool submissions or things you've done in Hugging Face, um, definitely link those below. I should have been setting that, saying that before in some prior videos. Um, let me know if you have specific questions about this or want to see more content like this. It's a little bit different in that uh, there's less of a prompt um, bit of this. It, it's, it's more like all of the input is coming from reading the video itself, but um, there are intermediate bits of this that are oddly enough doing the same thing that's happening in stable diffusion. So it's a bit abstract, um, not perfectly following that mold, but you'll see um, some other future videos kind of following that similar structure so we maintain focus on the channel. As always, if you're interested in uh, signing up for a tool we haven't named yet that will automatically sign you up for um, professional tools that do this uh, and give you an edge doing that, uh, drop a comment below or email us. And we're really open to feedback, so if you don't like the way I sound or think that I should say um fewer times, please also leave a comment. Thanks. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth.